Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Scorpio. And keep in mind, this will not resonate for every Scorpio. If you like a personal reading, there's going to be two options in the description down below to book a personal reading. You can also find a third link there that'll be to join my spiritual group for people who are into spirituality and the spirit world. So if you're into that stuff, you want to meet more people like yourself, go ahead and go join that group. It's a third link in the description below. Also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, help me reach the next level so you can get another deck. Any place to make donations, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. What's a message for you? What's happening? And the mother of fire, all right, this can be something about a mother here, whether you're a mother or talking about your mother, but we have a mother of fire. We have the seven of air, of fertility. We have the eight of air with interference. Father of air. Mother and father. We have the shaman, all right? So you're appearing as a shaman here. Three of air, doubt. For some reason you're having doubt and that's causing interference. That doubt on whether or not you're a shaman is causing that interference of you walking the shaman way. All right, we have transformation, but there's things changing. We have two of air with inner peace and you're getting inner peace, no longer having that doubt, Scorpio. All right, so let's read you your cards because there's actually deeper meanings behind the cards because these are different decks. It's not a normal traditional tarot deck. All right, so this has different meanings. Can't read it all the same. We have Shaman. This actually has messages behind it. Wisdom, transcendence, intuition, deep knowledge of underlying forces, clear insight into reoccurring cycles, supernatural talents, otherworldly, extrasensory visions. The shaman inside you is capable of merging his intuitive perceptiveness with the wisdom of the elders. Meditate and find out what really motivates you. What your inner core truly desires. Don't waste time trying to fill more superficial desires. All right, look at this. So I'm telling you, go, go within and find out what really motivates you. All right? Not other people, but you. They can never satisfy your ancient longing. That is not their task. Shift your attention to what is essential. Most essential in your life is your own being. Without knowing the true essence of your being, your heart will always remain empty and dissatisfied. Without recognition of who you are, without inwardly awakening to that, you stumble like a drunkard through a maze of meaningless limitations. Remember yourself. Take the time in whatever space you need to explore your innermost being. For that, you don't have to go anywhere. Much of what feels no longer right for you is ready to leave or fall away. See, what no longer feels right for you, what no longer serves your highest good, is going to fall away. It says, be thankful. You may have to go through the pain of disillusionment, but that's in fact your liberation. If you want to awaken to reality, no spiritual entertainment technique can help you. All right? It is time to face yourself. The shaman merely reminds you of your spiritual heritage. He points to your source, the unnameable, the, let's see, the next pages, mystery of your existence, the power that created everything and absorbs you back into the, itself at the end of this life. Contemplate how to best spend your time. All right, Scorpio. It's really, really discovering yourself. Going within. All right, sorry, I was just entering a message. So, we have transformation. Uh, 13, I believe. Yes. It says, dying to be reborn. Dead process, shedding the past, letting go of old patterns, dogmas, values, letting it be on the deepest level, inwardly resuming to the source. See, letting go, letting go of what no longer serves you and moving to what really does serve you, what really does motivate you, what is your inner desire, right? 
the shaman. I feel like it's towards shamanism. All right, spirituality. It says, this card does not represent physical death. Every transformation is a new beginning, so don't waste your energy on trying to stop the inevitable. You are simply ready to let go of more unnecessary baggage. This card sends at a long, overdue disengagement from certain situations, sometimes the departure of people. However, in its highest aspect, the image represents the soul's longing to be born anew. This can only happen when the needless structures and mental veils crumble or fall. Don't cling to a single thing. Allow everything to disperse itself, even if it seems unbearable at first. You are simply creating more space to accommodate some more important newcomers in your life. All right, so don't hold on to a single thing at this time, Scorpio. Let it let it fall. If, it, it's, if it's fallen, let it fall. All right, because you're going to have a lot more new stuff coming in. Your sense of being forsaken will soon turn into joy, but the ego wants to avoid transitions. It fears the new and tenaciously clings to the familiar. It rather exists in prolonged stagnation and death like boredom than surrender to what can it never know, thereby causing much more pain, of course. But you have the courage and understanding to welcome profound changes. Do not postpone this transition. It is a transformation. All right, then we move on to the minor arcana. Mother of fire, trusting oneself, pride, authority, strength, courage, certainty, power to compel and succeed. Passion, sometimes arrogance. To grow into genuine maturity is a lifelong endeavor. It won't happen overnight. You must pass through many, pass through many valleys and scale as many peaks. This card tells you to remember that your inherent strength as you get ready to take your rightful place in life. This enables you to make decisions from a position of truly compelling authority. Your growing failure in your own path and personal development is now yielding rewards in many areas of your life. This inspires the people close to you to further develop their own trust in themselves by sharing your experiences and reading your newly found trust in your abilities. You not only reward yourself but others too. Right? Like, so even things that have things that are falling away, all right? Rewards are coming in because of that. All right, and you can be sharing your experiences of like things you've been through in life as a shaman here. All right, a lot of experiences that you've lived, and that's going to be inspiring others. It's going to be helping others. It's going to be motivating others here. Do I have anything else of fire? No. Yeah, the father of air. Mental strength, intelligence, clear thinking, astuteness. Focused intention, besides from his quick-witted intellect, sometimes being caught up in heads. This is like about the mental capacity, mental strength, Scorpio, that you're stepping into, as well as the spiritual strength, the soul. Trust your perceptiveness. You know better than anyone what is not right for you, or what is right for you, and what is not. Stop avoiding a matter that can be cleared up easily with a few insightful words. You have the mental and spiritual strength to make positive changes right now. Focus your mental powers on a merger with your heart. Then your heart will give your intellect two evenly balanced wings, spinning the mind and the heart. All right. Now use your intelligence to consciously pursue some genuinely fulfilling goals. All right, see, now that all that's fallen away, now we're going to be pursuing what really motivates you, what really fulfills you. You have the verbal skills and mental sharpness to get what you want, but it's no longer enough to outwit others for your own gain. You are ready to employ your considerable mental powers in a more conscious and respectful manner. Your passionate desire to do what is good and right for all will gratefully acknowledge by those who grudgingly admire you. <laughs> all right, Scorpius, so that's messages for you. Now, let's get some ruins and trust yourself. We have Aries, all right, which can be this mother of fire here. So maybe you can have Aries placements in your chart. Maybe like your mother is an Aries or has those placements somewhere in her chart or something along those lines or some sort of mother figure has Aries placements in their chart. We have this dragon moon, which can be a symbol of Huan Yin. We have the sun beetle, which you are connecting to. All right, so you're connecting more with the sun, more with fire here. All right, the sun is like healing. We have Thoth. 
the Chinese look sign of the monkey. We also have Pisces, so you can have those placements in your chart or one around you. We have this jellyfish sea dragon. Jellyfish can represent really healing. Alright, we have rewards coming in. Their cycle is being completed as you're going through spiritual initiation. That's completed. Now you have rewards, as we've been talking about. Rewards coming in. Alright, so, Scorpio. That's all I have for you. And like I said, if you'd like a personal reading, there's going to be two options in the description down below to book a personal reading. And if you'd like to join that spiritual group, go ahead and go, go join that. All right, want to meet more people who are in spirituality and shamanism, go ahead and go join that. And you can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. If you want to see more content, or like subscribe. Bye, guys.